Okay, so we're looking at volume and total surface area. These are the more difficult types of questions that we'll be looking at, where you're going to have the objects that will have slots or holes or something else done to them to make them a little bit more complex. All right, the first one we're going to look at is a slotted block. As you can see, this block has had a V-shaped channel cut into it. I'm still going to use my volume, or well, my simple volume formula of volume equals area of base times height. And my total surface area formula I'm going to use here would be two times area of base plus perimeter of base times height. Now, the question is, what is actually going to be my base? Well, to make it simple, I've cut it in. So you'll see that the gradient portion will be my base. I, I call that the base because that is the unique shape. You'll notice that if you were to cut this up into little slices, the grade part will be, or well, the shaded part will be the part that's repeated constantly. So it could be, it makes it easier for us to work with that. So I'm going to have to split up this shaded part into some pieces. Uh, a rectangle and a triangle would probably be the most sensible thing. I'd rather make it so that I'm subtracting something away from the rectangle than adding pieces together. It usually makes it easier. Also, a little trick. If you've worked out the area of the base once for volume, you can use it again for total surface area. Okay, There should be some sort of leeway allowed in examinations when it comes to that sort of thing. Alright, so let's take a look at it. I'm not going to put numbers in here because I'm looking at this as a general sort of situation. You'll see now that I've drawn a little red line just to highlight where the level of the block would have been. And we've got to measure the height between that little line and the deepest part of the triangle to give us our, our perpendicular height of the triangle. You'll see that I use a little H there. The big H that I use is for the height of the block or the depth of the block. It's how far back we are taking the repeated shape. So looking at the little formula that I've got here for area of base, it's length times uh, length, length times breadth for your rectangle, and then I'm subtracting half base times height. You could have base times height over 2 or some other variation of your triangle formula there. They're all relevant as long as you're sticking to the right sort of one. Okay, uh, for people who like to look at things not just in 3D but in sort of a flat situation, just sometimes in a question you're going to get it where they'll give it to you as a front view and side views. You have to be able to sort of manipulate that in your mind. You'll see that the area of the base is given us as a front view over here. And then this is the left view and this is the right view. And this is just a top view of it. Not very interesting, but it does help us a little bit just to get a general idea, especially with some of the more advanced type of questions later. Alright, hopefully this is helpful for you just to get an idea of how to tackle this.